welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're back with a finish. Yes! Okay, so for those folks who didn't know, I actually ordered this kit because Maggie had asked me to order this kit because it's something she wanted for Christmas. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get to it before Christmas, but not only did I get to it, I killed it. So we are completely done with this adorable little unicorn and I think she'll be happy with it. She hasn't seen it yet because it's been kind of laying upside down. Like at night whenever I work on it, I'll flip it upside down so she can't see it. She wants to be surprised. And for those of you who don't know, Maggie is my eight-year-old. So there's that because there was people saying about, you know, you're doing a little kid painting. Uh, yeah, I have kids. <laughs> That's real life out here on these streets. Anyways, so this painting came from DIY Painting Art. They contacted me and asked me if I would show their kits on my channel. And I, of course, said, sure. I picked out a couple, which one of them I let Maggie pick out. The other one with the butterfly I picked out. Um, but I was asked to do this one for Maggie for Christmas. So I went ahead and did this one. As you can see, it's all done. Isn't it adorable? I'll remember to lift you up a little bit. There you go. Isn't it adorable? Look at the little unicorn. All right. And this is a 40 by 30. It is a round. Um, there's no special ABs, rhinestones, or anything like that in it. It's just a plain old kit, which is just fine. Um, this is one of those places I, I'm going to highly recommend because, one, the drill quality, amazing. I didn't have not one, not one, I'm not even joking. I didn't have not one trash drill. Not one. Not one, okay? So I had drills of every color left over. And I did get a little paranoid about this one <laughs> because there's not a lot in there. You know how you have that little panic attack about, you know, oh my God. I was like halfway through the painting and I had like maybe not even 50 drills left. And I'm like, oh God, I'm going to run out. Nope, didn't run out. Um, a couple of them did get low. But again, my theory is as long as you have one drill left over after you finish your kit, it's a good kit. I ain't going to fuss about it. So it did get low on a couple of colors. This was the main color white, which was the background. Um, yeah, it was a joy to work on. It was just what I needed to get out of my little, you know, whatever I was in there for a while there with being burnt out on my diamond paintings. So this had 18 colors, as you can see. It literally is a child's kit because I was doing it for a child. So there you have it. All the colors did fine. Um... Symbol clarity had no problems. Did have issue. Okay. Symbol clarity was fine. Like I could make out the symbols, but let's get you down into the business. This purple here, they should have put these two and uh, they should have used white letters for them. If I had a suggestion because those two and all these dark colors, like the number six here, the letter D, the letter F, and I think there was like something else. Nope, I think it was just those. So those three got me kind of mixed up a little bit. Even though this one is a green, I knew which, which one that one was. But these two here, the F and the D, trying to see those was a little difficult, but I was able to do it without a light pad. Because you guys know I typically don't use the light pad. No, my drills are not straightly perfect on there. I don't think my eight-year-old's going to care about straight drills. Um, I didn't have any problems with the tackiness of the kit. Didn't have any problems running out of drills. Didn't have any problems minus the D and the F being dark colors of the same color. They don't look alike symbol-wise. Symbol so that didn't trip me up. But I think it turned out adorable. And I know she's going to love it. So this one is going to get framed. I'm going to figure out how to frame it. Because there's a couple of different ways I can go about this. So i got to find a frame that actually fits this. Now the canvas that you drill is a 40 by 30. So just the drilling area is a 40 by 30. But the entire kit is 45 by 35. So if I was going to get a uh, frame for this. I would probably do a 40 by uh, 30 by 40 frame. Because then I'm not going to want all this extra outside in it. Um, if I were to, say, do a canvas finish or what have, or what have you, um, I would essentially fold these side pieces to the back so that all you're seeing is the diamonds. But because it is for an 8-year-old and Maggie does have little, you know, curious fingers where she likes to pick at stuff, I'm going to be putting this in a regular frame probably like I did her Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Um, 
just because I don't want her picking the diamonds off of it. And not saying that she would, but we're just going to avoid that situation before it even happens. So yeah, so the symbol clarity was good. Didn't run out of drills. Uh, the diamonds were immaculate. I had no problems. They weren't dirty. They weren't any type of way. Um, this was an absolute joy to work on. It is, like I said, it is a round, but the, it just, it was so much fun to work on something that was just so simple and easy. Um, you guys would have saw the whipping chat by now. Uh, so I was like halfway through it. I literally did this entire half yesterday after my whipping chat. So I did this half like during lives and in a whipping chat. And then the other half I did in one day. I just needed something simple to get my brain going again with diamond painting because I'm in, in a slump and I don't know what, like, I'm overwhelmed with kits and I don't know which one I want to start. I have one coming in today that I want to start, but I need to finish Swan Lake. So, um, I'm probably going to start the new one, to be honest with you. <laughs> just being honest with you because I've been looking forward to this kit for the longest time and I'm really hoping that Robin doesn't disappoint and it comes in baggies because if it does... It will be my next kit. If it doesn't, I will probably move on to a different kit. It'll probably go back to Swan Lake. So it just depends on if that kit comes in baggies. Either way. So there you have it. Another finish for this this year. I'm I'm 100 percent happy with it. We're gonna we're gonna take a second and then we're gonna show Maggie and see if she's happy with it. So hold on a second. Okay, so mommy finished the painting that you wanted. Are you ready to see it? Are you ready to see it? You can close your eyes. As you guys can see, there's still that line there, but it doesn't affect the painting any. Alright, open your eyes. What do you think? Like a baby. What do you think? Mm -hmm. do you, does Maggie approve? Yeah, let's open more. Let's open more. <laughs> well, honey, mommy can't open anymore. This is the one that you wanted me to do. We're going to put it up in your room. Okay. Do, does Maggie approve? How many thumbs up does Maggie give? A thousand. A thousand thumbs up? Yeah. All right. I, I don't know what she's doing to the corners of this thing. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. So you like your little unicorn? Yeah. Did it come out better than you expected? All right, so with that said, folks, you can see her foxy blanket. <laughs> uh, with that said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those down in the comment section below. If you want any more information on this company, look in the description box, and I will have a link to the company itself and this diamond painting so that you can go check it out for yourself. But with that said, I now must bid you adieu. But not for reminding you. If you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, we really got to get out of here, so we must. But, you do. but not for reminding you. Wear your mask. Wait, what? That's the new thing? Yep, that's the new thing. Wear your mask. Mask. Don't touch it. Oh. Wear your mask. Wash your mask. Wash your... <laughs> <laughs> Wear your mask. Wash, wash your, your hands. Mask. Don't touch your face. Keep your six, six feet, feet. And always feet. try. Be kind. It's just, it's just clover. Be, be kind. Be kind. Be kind. Bye, everybody. Bye.